Hello and welcome to this 0 AD TT test versus Alistair. We have Alistair in the blue corner, TT test in the red, and Gaia in the white. Six ladies coming out, and I've got a horse coming out. Early baskets. There are some other berries on this map, so it's good to good to get them. Berries over here and over. Somewhere over here, somewhere. There we go. Berries. Storehouse. Getting some wood. Right, yeah. I think we've both run into trouble of um, getting pop capped and then having to build another house. Yeah, that's why I wasn't building them. Still pop capped. I didn't realise that these only gave five. Some civilizations you can get ten, and some you can only get five. Uh, population capacity increase. this? Oh. Oh. What? Mine didn't look like that. Oh, it's a bug. Huh. Well, here's a new bug for you. I've never seen this one before. <laughs> They're like fences. Every... everything's made of... Whoa! Oh. It's got something to do with the camera angle. Yeah, there's a few camera angle bugs in this game. Because generally people only play at this regular angle. About here. Yeah. And actually, like the... Oop. Where is it? Somewhere. I think it must be rotated around a bit more. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't happen on the default anyway. I know that much. But yeah, there are certain angles that... Uh, It doesn't like... Or something. Sometimes. And then sometimes not. Okay. Well, I guess it's better now. Nope, it's not. I saw, I saw it again for a second. <laughs> ah, whatever. And he's beating me in population. What's he doing with his... Hmm. Now this guy knows how to do the Gauls. I learned some Gaul mechanics from uh, watching this replay. He had a decent uh, open field to start with. I always seem to have kind of weird, not quite enough space. And he does have enough space for farms and uh, houses all the way around, whereas I didn't quite. Yeah, I had more stuff in the way. He only had one or two things in the way. I don't know, actually, it seems about the same. <laughs> I 
Right, it's good to play as the goals on this map as well because that looks kind of goal-ish as well. Hmm. Yeah, now is when now is when my population should start getting pretty good. Once I realized about <laughs> how many houses I actually needed to build and what what the deal was with all of this, it got a little easier to control. Although I have dropped back down again. Trees. Some tree cutting going over here. Do we have the same symbol? We're both goals. Yeah, his is just red. Yeah, the population just going back and forth between us. Look at that though, that's uh, that's a beautiful base that he's got going there. Base. Don't worry, it starts getting it, it starts happening soon. <laughs> there was a ten minute ceasefire, so that would have just expired, I think. Another 10 or 15 minute. Might have been 15. Got my horse just getting me some vision. Vision is something that he he didn't worry about too much at all. He has so much food, wow. I think maybe there's a different thing you should do with the uh Oh, well, I guess what you would do when you unlock it is you delete this farm and then build your grain rotary mill. Rotary mill. I always want to call it a grain mill. Got the temple coming up. Blacksmith and the second barracks. I had a problem here. Um, you see, my... There's this little pocket here, so if I set my rally point over here, they would come out here and get stuck. So I would have to click the barracks, hold shift, right click about here, and then over where I wanted my wanted them to go.
Hmm, his base looks much nicer. But uh, my resource collection micro has been a little stronger. Wow, look at all that food he has. That's... Mm. He could have easily beaten me if he managed that a little better. But by the same token, if I had a bit more food and less wood, you know. You want about a thousand of everything at any given time, <laughs> I think. I think is about how it goes. Like, it, it, it goes up as the game goes on. Like, at first you want to have basically no money and then about a hundred of everything, two hundred of everything, three hundred of everything. You want to be spending it all any of the other time. All of, all of the other time. You've seen how how we built our things. It's time to to get the battle happening. Market over here and here. It's not very profitable. I should have waited for city vase. But I yeah, I don't know. I didn't know what to build to get Oh you you ah, two blacksmiths. That's what I'll do. Because mid mid game I don't I have enough money for all the upgrades but not enough time and yeah. Two blacksmiths. That's how you get to the next phase instead of going for the market. It's temple and two blacksmiths. Or whatever. Or whatever it is. Something along those lines. Resource collection's going okay. I do this often, I don't know what... if this is good or not. <laughs> I mean, really, this should be out here somewhere. So it's a fortress. A Gallic Dun. Dun Dun. Still has those berries there. They're a really fast way of getting quite a bit of... Food. This is, um, yeah, you need to split these up. There's not, barely anything is happening here because part they're just running into each other. You need to take about a half of these and put them over here or something. You should build a storehouse here and then put them here. We went for our first expansion at the same time, but we had a different idea about how to expand. His idea is all about gaining ground on me. My idea is all about gaining the maximum amount of ground possible. <laughs> so he's got this strip here, but my aim is to have all of the rest of this. This entire rest part. Come at him from every angle. He can only come at me from the middle. Nope, oh, it's fight. It's, it's fights. There, yeah, it's fights time. Okay. I actually built four rams from my uh, fortress in a little while and sent them all to go and attack the civic center. And 
they got stuck on pathing for three or four minutes. They just kind of wander around back here. <laughs> Be surprised how quickly <laughs> a bunch of slingers can take down a tower. It's not it's not that long, you know. And I've got an upgrade or two. I accidentally brought my traders over into the fight. into this fight. Not really. That's a bit easier to see than that other little one. There's another little one in the corner there, but that's a bit easier to see. that accomplished was to destroy two towers and that was it. Ended up losing so many units out of that fight. All these trees in the way of the fight. In the lead quite a bit now in population. Building a temple, good idea. That's what I've got going over here, healing up my units inside of the temple. Side of the fortress separately. Five rams coming out and five Gallic noble cavalry. Should be starting to work on my head. Second expansion soon over in this area. This one, this is just territory. That's all this is. Territory and the ability to come back around here later because I figure that he probably doesn't really have much behind here and I can just come in around the back. More fighting. My rams trying to get around. Oh, nope, the skirmishes are making a wall. Better go back. Oh, no, the rams there. Oh, no, oh, I'll go back. Oh, no, up, oh, ram, up, oh, back. Nope. The rams. <clears throat> the rams. <laughs> Going around these trees and just. They're, they'll get there eventually, maybe. Maybe. 
No. No. He's going back. Nope, oh, these ones have come back around here again. <laughs> now he's going over here. What's he doing? Oh, I think I selected them, told them to move over here so that I wouldn't have worry with the pathing <laughs> so much. Kind of trying to move them around manually. Had my population entirely eradicated there. Not exactly certain what I was doing. My intention was to keep them distracted and have my rams come around the back, but my rams were slower than I had anticipated, and also they kind of, yeah, they stopped. <laughs> and the pathing. Civic center over here, just trying to get all of this middle section. Did I even make another expansion? I'm pretty sure I put something over here. Maybe I didn't. Oh, no, it's already wartime. I decided, look, okay, I'm behind here a bit. My strategy, I need to be implementing my strategies now. He's been implementing his and they've been working very well. Now it's time for me to do some things. Probably leisurely would be a little slow. Lagging a little. I'm just gonna change the camera angles a bit. Get rid of a bit of that lag. These guys over here. Getting rid of the barracks. Coming in to wreck his economy. Just get rid of all of the ladies. There's also a battle going on over here. It's basically just a distraction for the real thing that I'm doing. This is where the actual punishment happened. The other fight was about even, but here was this... Mm, this did not turn out so well. Lost me all of these little resource gathering ladies. Population the only diminishing from here, whereas mine is only increasing. He's tried to do a similar thing, but I had an idea that he might be doing that and have my people ready. I should be moving them pretty soon over to stop this from happening. I was actually playing with no sound at the time, so it was a bit odd. <laughs> the sound bugs fixed it out, so I'll be aware of these things a bit earlier as they happen. Yeah, that, uh, that didn't do much. They got destroyed. It didn't do near as much as what this did. I'm just going around destroying houses now. I don't know why. I couldn't really see anything else that I wanted to, to destroy. I could have got that. Ah, uh, well, it's not really that useful. The barracks, though. Now, yeah, my strong units have come out. Uh, I've got, yeah, a couple of fortress units actually back in there healing as well. And yeah, my skirmishes are fully upgraded now. Or at least pretty well upgraded.
I think it was mainly just that upgrade that did it for me. I had the... Oops, sorry. I had the upgrades for my ranged units, and he did not. <laughs> that was something I learned in a prior game. Get those upgrades, and you'd be right. And that was it. It's ha that happened um, because I had taken this. Oh, did he destroy it before I could take it? Hmm. Well, I did. I was about to take it. Or maybe I took it and then just... Wait, what happened with that? That's weird. He must have destroyed it just before it went to half because you can't destroy it after it's halfway done. Hmm. No, like, he played really well. All of his, uh, most of his uh, fundamentals of the game were better than mine. It was basically just a cheese strat, really, to come around the back here. And, yeah, knowing to knowing how strong those upgrades are. Just hold off until you can get them. But, yeah, two blacksmiths may be a thing to do as well. At least with this build order. Okay, well, I hope that was informative. Definitely, I was definitely informed. The mm, yeah, no ladies on the farms. His food income's gonna be terrible. Yeah, it was. It's you get back there in that in that those ladies, and it really, really hurts. Because what are you going to do? Shift Q40 ladies? <laughs> like, man. Well, I hope that was something. And I hope you have a good one. And peace.